Um, good night. Uh, not great, but good. We missed some opportunities out there, but um, felt good about being able to make some changes in the lineup and, and get some other people out there, do some exhibitions, and have some seniors get an opportunity. They work a lot. They work hard. You know, whether they're whether they get in the lineup very often or not, they um, you know wanted to get them out there and get them an opportunity to showcase. And this was the, kind of the last chance to be able to do that. So. Um, and get some experience there too in case anything can happen. You never know um, when something can happen. So I'm pleased with how we did. Uh, you know, I thought we were a little bit, um, uh, a little bit off a good portion of the week, I guess. Just not, just, just not, uh, we didn't have the edge that we'd had the last four or five weeks. And, I, and sometimes that's going to happen, but um, but I'm not going to excuse it. We've got to be able to. We've got to. If we want to. We want to be the best. We've got to. We've got to continue to act like the best and not allow that to happen. It wasn't a bad week, but it just we were just a little bit. You saw us hopping around again and get a little bit tonight on ball in places, and and that's the way we vaulted all week. So it, it just uh, uh, just got to make sure that we don't allow those things to happen. Complacency can't creep in, and and uh, I don't believe that it is. I just think that. You get to the end and the focus, you know, you know, you know where you stand going into the postseason. You, you know where you stand going into SECs. The focus becomes about seniors, which is always can be a little bit of a trap. And um, and so, I just think it took a little bit of our edge off in a couple of spots. Nothing, nothing crazy or or, or too bad, but just uh, in a couple of spots. Is your family on like you? Yeah, just what about your seniors? Obviously, uh, yeah. you know, so much talent out there on the floor. Yeah. I mean, just tremendous. It's a tremendous group. Whether they're fourth, fifth, or sixth years, they um, they all. I talked to them, you know, today pre meet. We talked about the character and the integrity uh, of any great team and how important that is. And how whether they've been here four years or whether they've been here a year or two years, all of them have exhibited incredible character and integrity about what they do and and have gone out and represented us in 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 every possible way, whether seen or unseen. They have represented LSU as if they've been here the whole time in a, in a very class, um, consistently disciplined manner. And I, you know, I can't say enough about them. It's a special group. I, you know, uh, I always feel like every 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 class that comes through in my career, I learn something from, and hopefully, I become a better coach um, as a result. And and this this group collectively. Really, the thing that stands out to me is their character and their integrity, and and, um, and they, they, they lead us with that, and that's it's it's tremendous. It's a peace, it's a it's a peaceful, or or it gives you peace as a coach to know that you don't have to worry if the phone's going to ring in the middle of the night, or that they're going to um, make make decisions or allow decisions to be made within the team that that could um, that could damage what we're trying to do, and so very proud of them. You gave him a bit of a shout out before the meet. Just the fans, you had 75,000 people here this year. Just how big of an impact do you really think they made on your home meets? It's you can't in this sport. You can't really you can't really quantify it. It's it's tremendous. It's um it gives us such a a, a unique environment that truly becomes an advantage. And and the thing we have to guard against is that we don't become dependent on that energy that we get because it's it's incredible. It's there's, I've been other places that have big crowds. You know, we we've got. There's some other schools that do that, but there's not there's not a place that that um, brings it the the way that our fans do. And tonight was cool. You could see even in warmups. I was looking up in the top in the in, in the in the rafters, and we were two events in. The gates had been open 25 minutes, and and that was the general admission up top was filling up, and that that's pretty special, y'all. I mean, on on a, on a Friday night. When the Savannah Bananas are across the street and selling the place out, and, and you know you, you know that traffic is is going to be going to be tough, um, it's pretty neat when your fans can they they recognize that they plan ahead they get here and, and I, you know I told Mike Smith before the meeting started I'm like this is going to be a big one in here tonight you just could feel the energy coming in and I think we needed it I think it did improve our performance because as I said I didn't feel like we trained the way that I would have completely liked to see us train this week uh, in preparation for this meet and I think they gave, they gave us a little shot in the arm 75,000 people over six meets 
pretty cool. Like, I don't know, if you look around the country where we've gone, I mean, that, that means we're, you know, there's probably, we probably competed in 125, 130,000 people, and I don't know what that means, but that's probably, that's probably tops. And, you know, it's, it's pretty neat. Yeah, the girls? Yeah, whatever you want. Uh, just, we'll start with kind of a savage answer, too. Just the competing through the emotions of senior night, knowing that it's kind of coming, kind of, this is the final one. Like, it was good. You know, obviously there's room for improvement. How, how did you feel? Um, I definitely had a little bit more emotion tonight than I originally thought I would. Um, but we started fast on vault and just tried to keep the energy up the whole meet. Um, I think we did a great job, and obviously everybody was super duper excited um, for senior night, and I think the seniors and every single person on the team um, did an amazing job, and we all just kind of celebrated each other, so it was really fun. Um, I feel like I've had three senior nights to prepare for all of the emotions, <laughs> um, but no, we talked all week, you know, about like, it's okay to celebrate the seniors, and that's what this is for, and we need to be happy for everybody and celebrate everyone and come together, but we have a job to get done first and um, our first priority is handling business and we can celebrate after and we have all season to continue celebrating. Um, so it's definitely okay to like recognize those emotions and feel them, but no to put them to the side and stay locked in and get your job done. And then I kind of like at the team meeting before, I was like, you know what, like everyone just freshman to sixth year, look around and take a moment to like really appreciate all of this and so I was really trying to do that tonight, but also stay locked on, uh, getting the job, getting the job done. Kaya, are you a, are you by nature a, a sentimental person? If so, or if not, are, did you find yourself having to push away the idea, this is my last time doing this at home, this is my last time doing that? That's a really good question, Scott. <laughs> I, mean, I appreciate that. <laughs> this is not your first rodeo. Um, I would say normally no, um, but this place, has literally meant the world to me for the last five years and so I was definitely feeling it a little bit going into floor and then after I landed my dual bike and like hearing all the fans and seeing my teammates I got a little bit emotional I don't know if I let a tear fall I think they were really close I don't know if one came down but um, I don't know I just have loved this place um, and it's been more than I can imagine so the emotion was definitely there but it was also um, just a very exciting moment to compete in the FEMAC. Any better answer? <laughs> for, for both the girls, uh, just knowing SECs are you know, right there, you know, I guess just what is your mindset now? That it's over here, but it's not over there. I think the mindset stays the same. You know, all season long, it's the same approach and nothing changes meet to meet. You know, we don't go in saying, oh, well, this is postseason and this is SEC or we're against, you know, a top 10 school, so we need to go harder. You know, it's like we plan to go up and do the same routine every day or every time we compete, and we stack the days. We talk a lot about that in practice and just remaining consistent. And so I don't think it's about going into postseason with a different mentality. Um, I think it's just about staying consistent and continuing the process that we've already built. Um, basically second what Sav said, we don't really need to do anything different. We just need to stick to who we are, stick to what has been working um, and be our normal. Obviously this week, um, maybe dial it in a little bit um, in practice so that we're just all really, really confident in ourselves when we go down to NOLA. Uh, but like Sav said, we've we found a recipe that I feel like works, so we're gonna stick to that and continue to try to do our best. Uh, Jay, uh, Ashley Cowan gets her career high on, on the bar. So what do you think about her performance? Um, she's really been coming on a lot throughout the year, but she's she's taken it up a level here recently and really started finding that dismount and the amplitude on her release move. She won one up that was better than the one than the routine she did that um, <clears throat> was maybe the best best one I'd ever seen. But Cowan is a She's a she's a great kid, a super hard worker. She's finally she's even got a vault now that you know turned a corner here recently. And if we had to if we had to get another one another one and a half out there, she could give it to us now. And so that bodes well for the future. I don't think we'll we'll see it in this postseason. She needs some more numbers, but she just works and works and works and keeps her head down and doesn't you know doesn't make a lot of noise. And she's not 
Um, she's not the most showy kid, except when she sticks that landing, you see her like sheath her sword or whatever that thing is she's doing, but um, that's kind of her little signature thing. But just proud of her and the growth that she's shown it, you know, over the last year. Last year she was a, a little timid and, and um, you know, and I wrote her pretty hard about, you know, uh, and tried to get her to get a little thick skin. And, um, you know, this year she's just, uh, she's just really grown into a super consistent and confident strong competitor for us on that bit. So I appreciate you asking about her because she's she's one of those that sometimes is a little bit unsung. Um, what would y'all say the biggest difference is this year going into the SEC championship meet versus last year, maybe like mentally and confidence wise? Um, I mean, I think this year, like we've kind of already said, we've taken steps forward um, since the beginning of season. So I think this year the confidence is through the roof like we we know what we can do we know what we've done and so um i'm just super duper confident in myself and all of my teammates to just go out there have fun but also um do our job well first off i'm, <laughs> I'm a tiger now so it's a little different um but i th i think i've had similar mentalities over the years going into postseason and just trying to remain consistent with the training that you know the days have stacked and um, just building that confidence and continuing to um, like instill that in competition I think this team is more than ready more than capable we have the potential and we should put that into action and we just have continued to show that to show that me after me um, this latter half of the season so I, I just know that we have way more to give and gonna happen. Yeah, I think the health and the depth of this team is different than last year too. Um, you know, we were we were pretty emaciated in terms of depth last year, and so when you you're seeing a lot of the quality of performance you're seeing out there is because we do have that depth. And I mean, Sab's a perfect example of what she she went up and did balance beam tonight, and I wish I saw it that way every single day. That was, but it was stellar. Like she just crushed it, you know, and and, and that that creates. It's iron sharpens iron kind of thing, and we've got a lot of that. And so it, it's taken an unselfish mindset, um, whereas last year was, was a different approach because we were scratching and clawing for each other, you know, and this, this year it's taken the same type of mindset, knowing that there's other people who can go that I'm sure want to go, and, and, and having the correct mindset and being able to um, – being able to continue to buy in and have that energy that we need to keep supporting each other and understand that the six that are out there in part are doing as well as they're doing because of the people that aren't getting the credit that are doing the job every day in the gym as well. And, and you know, that, that stuff matters. Uh, this is, might be a tough question for you, but um, let me get this camera right first. Do you ever think about your injury last year being the moment that kind of turned this team around because they learned how to compete with you not being there? Um, that is a tough question. Um, I think it was a pretty big deal also because it happened at the very beginning of our season. Um, we were just getting started barely finding our footing and something big um, really happened. So I think it took a lot and it took everybody on the team to kind of flip their mindset because they had a full season to compete ahead of them. Um, but they showed that fight and that grit all the way throughout, not just um, at the beginning of the season last year. They took it like all the way to the final four, obviously. So, yeah. Savannah, you sound, you look a little bit like you wanted to go see the Savannah Benin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the OG Savannah. <laughs> I was created for them. <laughs> you, obviously, you competed against LSU, and then then coming here, you had some you had some ideas, some preconceived notions about this program and the people in it and everything. But how did it meet or or exceed or change in, in one going through this season? What, what was it like compared to what you thought it would be like? You said it perfectly. It exceeded my expectations. You know, I had very, very, very high expectations coming into LSU. I mean, I came in and committed the second day that I was here on campus. I just knew in my heart that this was my new home and I felt the support and the love from the team before I even told them I wanted to truly commit here and come here. 
Um, and so I think that really speaks volumes about all of the people on this team and the genuineness and the realness and the authenticity. Um, and every day I just, I wake up and I'm just so grateful. And I feel like I haven't had this amount of happiness consistently ever in my life. And I don't, I don't say that, you know, lightly. So like, like I said, it has truly exceeded my expectations in every single way. And I am so thankful to have had this opportunity to be here. Jay, real quick, note about Anna and the program she's building in North Carolina. And you look over and you see another one of your former athletes now in coaching. How does that make you feel? Yeah, it's good to see Sam. She's, um, she's a legend here. And, and um, you know, it's always, always great to see her. And I've known Dan for a long time as well. And, um, you know, we, she uh, stepped into a program that, um, you know, has tremendous potential, and and uh, but sometimes you gotta you gotta start turning a battleship. It takes a little takes a little bit of time, but they did a great job tonight, and and uh, you know I know that that they're recruiting hard and and gonna do great. And if Sammy Durante's with them, they'll they'll be winners. I can guarantee you that because that kid's a winner in my book.